come May, you'll have to make sure you have a reusable bag when you check out at any food or retail stores in Jersey. That's because a statewide ban is going into effect May 4th on single-use plastic bags as well as polystyrene foam takeout food containers and other polystyrene products like plates, cups, food trays, and utensils. Advocacy campaign manager for Clean Ocean Action, Kari Martin, says it's all in an effort to protect our environment and Jersey from the harm of plastics pollution. Our beat sweeps results were just released for last year and they were over 9,300 plastic bags found on beaches um, in New Jersey. So that is two, a two-day event, three hours each day um, by uh, a few th you know, some thousands of volunteers. However, that's just a snippet of what plastic bags you know, and other garbage, of course, are finding in our environment. Martin says the law does have exceptions. Anything, any bags that you know, are used to contain meat or fish, um, or to package loose items such as bulk foods um, from the you know, bulk food aisle, um, bags used for containing live animals, so you know, getting that fish at the fish store and things like that. So, and also dry cleaning bags, uh, laundry bags, uh, garment bags, as well as new newspaper bags. The ban is not new to everyone. Some towns like Lambertville and Ridgewood have already implemented a ban on single use plastic bags and say education is key to a successful transition. The public has been very receptive uh, from the gate. Everyone transitioned seamlessly to utilizing paper bags and more importantly, um, the use of reusable bags. I think for the businesses, one of the challenges was understanding what the alternatives were to single use plastics that we had banned. Um, plastic straws, polystyrene, styrofoam, and um, plastic bags. And one of the things that we did to help with that was hold a sustainable business forum where some of the leaders in the community who had already implemented sustainable business practices spoke as well as um, representatives from the Environmental Commission and shared with businesses um, what alternatives they have to single-use plastics. Yu Kai Huang is the lead author of a study by the University of Georgia. He says while the law has good intentions, the study discovered an offsetting effect of eliminating single-use plastic bags. So they, they switched their demand from regulated uh, grocery plastic bag to unregulated uh, trash bag. So uh, the study identified that, okay, this type of grocery bag regulation can increase the, um, the trash bag sales. Raymond Cantor is the vice president of the Government Affairs for New Jersey Business and Industry Association, who has opposed the ban, claiming the law doesn't fully recognize the complexities of the food business. I want to create a situation where it's less convenient to do retail shopping than maybe it would be to do things uh, online. It's every food truck, it's every school, it's every hospital, you know, that has a cafeteria. So, you know, um, it's every supermarket that serves, you know, fresh food, you know, or, or takeout food. So there are thousands upon thousands of, of thousands of businesses that are gonna have to comply with this. As the state gears up to implement the law, the New Jersey Clean Communities Council and Department of Environmental Protection have launched websites to offer guidance to help the public and businesses transition. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.